Let's chat about the two ways that you can connect your Zoom into your Thinkific lessons. There's two types of lessons that you can choose. You can choose the multimedia lesson or you can choose the live event lesson. So which one should you choose is the question. The multimedia lesson allows you to put in the link of your Zoom link into the multimedia lesson. So you have to go into Zoom, create your link in there, all the settings, and then paste it into the multimedia lesson. What will then happen is that when the student arrives at that lesson and they uh, open up that lesson, then they are redirected to Zoom, which means they'll be redirected away from Thinkific into the Zoom lesson or the Zoom class. Now this may be useful for you, these may, this may not be useful for you. If you prefer your students to stay within Thinkific and the Zoom lesson sits within the Thinkific lesson, which may be user, more user-friendly for them, it may be better for their student experience, then you can use the live event lesson. But using this new feature of Thinkific, which is currently still in beta, has some considerations connected to it. So there are three main things that you need to consider when you want to use this live event feature. Firstly, the maximum students that you can accept is 100. So if you do expect to have more than 100 students, you cannot use that live lesson event. You need to use the multimedia lesson. Also, if your students are using Safari, the Zoom integration does not work in Safari. So they need to use another browser such as Chrome or Firefox. And they will be asked or redirected to be using that. And you can also provide instructions in doing that. Okay, so there's a way around that. You, you can guide the students into understanding that they need to use Chrome or Firefox. Again, if those two considerations are too much for you or it's, it's just going to be too bad for your student experience, then use the multimedia lesson. Finally, in the live lesson, if you are going to be using breakout groups or you are going to be using polling within Zoom, these do not work in the Zoom integration, which means if your students are in the Thinkific lesson and they have the Zoom embedded in the Thinkific lesson, they will need to open up the Zoom outside of Thinkific for the two features for the breakout groups and for the polling to work. Likewise, if you wanted to use this, you can still direct your students and guide them into opening up the Zoom into another tab or in another area so that you can use these features. So there's a way around the consideration two and three when you're guiding your students through opening it up in a different browser. However, if these are really important features to you and you feel that it might uh, distract the learner through the learning experience, then just use the multimedia lesson. This opens up in a different area for you. So Zoom opens up outside of Thinkific for you so that these features do work. Also, if you are wanting to use anything besides Zoom, such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meets, or you have a different webinar platform, then the multimedia lesson will work for you. After all these considerations and you have decided that you wanted to still go ahead with the Zoom integration into Thinkific and you want to know how to integrate it, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to show you those steps. Uh, also, it's really useful to see, well, what does this look like from the student perspective? So you can create a Zoom link and put that into your multimedia lesson or create one into your live, play around with it, and then just check it out what it looks like from the student perspective. But if you want me to show you, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other general questions about course creations, about Thinkific or about live sessions, let me know in the comments below. Each week I do post a new video here on my YouTube channel all about course creation. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you are notified of the next course creation video that is available. I would like to know though, which one did you decide? Did you decide to go with a live event or did you decide to go with a multimedia lesson within Thinkific? Which one did you choose and why? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, happy course creating.